Now, there's a reason why cameras have started a new war in the world of smartphones. A war for what? The highest megapixel count, the most number of lenses, so much more. And why not? On a scale of 1 to 10, how important is your smartphone's camera for you? I bet most of you would say 11 on 10. Now, cameras are so important that companies are now bundling multiple lenses at the back of the device for continual improvements on zoom, imaging quality, and so much more. So many features that they actually implement. There used to be a time when dual cameras were taken to be cutting edge technology and a rage in the smartphone market. But now, anything less than four is almost considered a crime. And not just numbers, camera performance has also massively improved over the years. We now have dedicated modes for things like what, low light or at night shooting, shooting high quality video on our phones and whatnot. It's a long list now. Our smartphones can now capture photos that rival those taken by professional DSLR cameras. Well, almost. In fact, the imaging quality across various capture modes is getting closer to that DSLR experience. In addition, we get a higher number of features and upgrades with our smartphone's AI camera in comparison to a DSLR camera. Now, getting the camera quality upgrades on a smartphone is so much easier, right? If the device manufacturer can push a camera feature over the air, thus improving the overall quality and performance and add many new features. A lot of new camera features are being powered by artificial intelligence on your device. We've previously talked about AI on smartphones and how it enables a lot of automation and helps our devices get to know us better. But AI also has a very important role in camera and photography and videography on smartphones. AI helps us take the absolute best photos using our smartphones. We think we're doing the work, setting up the phone, adjusting the focus, the exposure for the subject. But it's actually the AI engine that is doing most of that heavy lifting here. AI cameras have multiple features to click the best possible shots. An AI camera uses a mode called scene recognition, which automatically recognizes what it's looking at. Point your camera towards a plant and it actually knows that's a plant pointed towards a building or a sunset or peaks laden with snow. The camera knows what it's looking at. Now, scene recognition automatically adjusts many things on the camera like exposure, lighting, white balance based on what the camera is looking at and it actually then makes sure you get the best possible shot. Scene recognition is not the only thing that an AI camera does. Whenever we take, let's say, portrait shots, the background is blurred and the subject is kept in focus. AI helps in perfect edge detection while taking those very important portrait shots. Now, it also helps in face recognition to ensure that the right things are kept in focus and the background is not suddenly taking center stage. Some other features of an AI camera are beautification and object tracking. Beautification is when the camera automatically enhances skin tone to make it look smoother. I know people who don't take a photograph now without beautification enabled. Object tracking also very important when you're shooting video and the objects move really fast. For example, the cricket match or maybe you're watching F1 racing. You want to record the object that is actually in motion. Object tracking helps to keep the most important things in focus. Now, all this artificial intelligence requires a dedicated neural engine inside the smartphone to give the camera the power it needs for the best results. Now, while you may be an incredibly good photographer, it's not just you that's doing the work, right? A combination of the AI engine, the algorithms, the image signal processor, along with the rest of the camera hardware like image sensor, lens, filters, all of this decides the overall performance of the camera. Qualcomm Technologies has enhanced camera technology on smartphones and with the involvement and evolvement of artificial intelligence, camera performance has now gone to a whole new level. Qualcomm is focusing on improving the overall photography and videography experience on a smartphone. So let's hear from them how they are securing the future of AI and cameras and making sure you get the perfect shot. So first, let's go and talk to Pawan Baheti, Director, Engineering at Qualcomm. Pawan, thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to the show. Now, first question, what defines an overall experience and performance of a smartphone camera? Hey, Raji, uh, the overall camera experience is defined by multiple things. Uh, first and foremost, by the snapshot and video quality, where the ISP along with the camera hardware plays a significant role. 
next is you know the performance indicators and metrics like uh, camera responsiveness uh, the you know the stability and the reliability for example can you trust what you're really seeing in the viewfinder and the overall you know features enabled like hdr zoom uh, low light photography uh, you know video and image stabilizations and etc cetera, etc cetera. okay and what role is played by ai in defining the camera experience i mean everything seems to be controlled now by ai you know that's a great question rajiv uh, ai is always working to improve your snapshot and video capture quality right? it's evolved from post processing of pictures and videos that you used to take to improving the video and picture taking quality before the files even get saved to your sd cards now to now being embedded as part of the real time component of your camera processing pipeline by making the imaging process you know completely contextually aware so as a result the photography of the user you know doesn't even need to worry about uh, post processing the pictures rather uh, the desired outcome of the photography or videography would be available at that moment itself and of course pawan the most important question for you is how does snapdragon enable ai on smartphones so the snapdragon based smartphones carry an ai engine which can be tightly coupled with the camera processing pipeline which is a spectra isp and the combination of these two things can really make a lot of compelling experiences such as you know scene analysis object detection face purification auto adjustments of capture settings so overall right ai is really enabling novice camera users to be able to take a lot of great photos and great videos great very interesting okay so often how is ai utilized by smartphone cameras you know, that's a great question ajit again uh, you know ai has moved from being gimmicky such as you know sky replacements or doing cat ears on human faces Uh, to doing much more fundamental image quality functions uh, such as object specific pixel processing real time video noise reduction uh, low light enhancements uh, automatic image retouching and lots of uh, such things so list is quite long on these features all right pavan very very interesting now what is that one camera feature that excites you the most well i get most excited about the ai features that make every smartphone user into a great photographer AI can now understand the scene, the contents of the scene, and in turn optimize each and every pixel uh, of the objects that the pixels belong to. Right? For as an example, uh, in a given scene, the grass can be made greener and sharper, uh, so that each blade can be seen very clearly. While at the same time, the face of the person can be smoothened out. The sky can be made blue and less noisy, and the fabric of the clothing the person is wearing can be made much more sharper. Right? I mean, AI can make uh, the food look appear as yummy as the food really is. Right so all of these can be done in an instant without the user even to think about it. Joining me today is Shivam Ranjan, marketing head for Motorola India. Congratulations, you have quite a portfolio and a number of launches coming about Moto G10 Power, Moto G30 and of course lots of other things happening also. So I'll start off with my first question. Tell us a little bit about all these new exciting products and what the consumer should expect. Hi Rajiv Really excited with the launch of these two great devices from Moto G family's 10th generation of devices. The G10 Power in fact is an India first device which comes with best in class features such as a massive 6000 mAh battery, a 48 megapixel quad camera setup and a Snapdragon 460 processor. And with the G30, we again have a class leading set of features uh, including a 64 megapixel camera, a uh, a great 90 hertz display and a Snapdragon 662 processor. Now looks like these are very very good handsets. Can you tell us a little bit more about the AI based camera features enabled on these devices? Both Moto G10 Power and Moto G30 actually come with class leading camera systems uh, in terms of hardware. Uh, the Moto G10 Power actually comes with a 48 megapixel quad camera setup and is perhaps the only one in the under 10k segment to do so. Similarly, the Moto G30 actually comes with a 64 megapixel quad camera setup. Again, the only one to do so in the under 11k segment. In addition to this great hardware, uh, we've also used the AI capabilities of the Snapdragon chipsets which are available on both these devices to enhance the camera experience even further. Both the devices come with our latest UI for the camera which is UI 3.0. and they come with great features such as uh, auto smile capture ai enabled scene detection uh, smart composition and spot color for uh, videos and photos both now 
all these features uh, make life convenient and fun for the consumers. Very interesting. Now, can you explain a bit more about this whole auto smile capture feature and what role is played by the processor in implementing it? For example, when you have to take a picture with all your friends and family and when all of them are smiling, uh, you can uh, the, the picture gets clicked automatically. That's auto smile capture for you. Thank you so much for joining us on the show and we look forward to more launches from you. Thank you.